Hello guys, welcome back. Um, I'm currently at Marina Bay Station in Singapore on the North South Line platform. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a Siemens C6 Highland train in Singapore. Um, they were the second uh, trains introduced on the North South and East West Lines. Uh, 19 of them were put into service in 1995. And as of today, only four of them are left. So I'm going to be riding on one of the four. Please mind the platform gap. So on this one, this is a Kawasaki CR CSR C151A. So we're going to skip this one. But the next one should be C651. are getting retired rather quickly uh, because of the delivery new Alstom on the R151 trains. Okay, this train's departing. And the next one should be the C651. Also, uh, the first video, uh, first talking video, where I'm using a microphone. So I hope you guys can hear me more clearly from now on. Trains arriving in one minute. Oh, it's still not this one. Then it definitely should be the next one. Alright guys, then I'll see you when the train arrives. There it is. Looks classic. It's also the oldest unrefurbished train in Singapore. Get on board. I'm actually going to step away towards the front because I see a staff over there. Um, sometimes the staff tend to uh, tell enthusiasts off for filming. Doors are closing. <laughs> As you might be able to hear, uh, this train uses a very melodious uh, motor. It has a GTO VDDF uh, traction control, which is an older generation uh, traction control by uh, Siemens. And usually those tend to sound very nice and melodious. And we enthusiasts love them. Now as for the interior, as it's an unrefurbished train from the 90s, um, most people would say it's, that it's not that aesthetically good looking. Like it's all yellowish inside. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move to the middle car. 
car so that we can hear the motor a little more because uh, the end cars don't have motors. And from now on it's going to get more crowded. Unfortunately, this train didn't uh, run for the whole day. It only came out uh, during the AM peak hours and now it just came out for the PM peak hours. And actually I wanted uh, to catch the train when it was coming out of the depot, uh, when it was going to the central direction because uh, currently more people are going out of the central direction back home. So it's more crowded, but unfortunately I missed the train and I was on the one. I was a few trees behind it. Next station, City Hall. But I'm happy that I still caught it. And I hope that you guys still managed to uh, see the overall interior before it got crowded. Now, because of their age um, and the fact that they didn't get refurbished, trains are getting replaced by new outstone via R151 trains. Um, they initially wanted to refurbish those trains. Uh, let's see, those trains were entered service from 1995, in 1995 and uh, their refurbishment started in 2015 or 16. Uh, yeah, what I was saying is that the contract for the R151 
to replace the C1 Pair 1s was awarded in uh, 2016, somewhere around there. And then in 2021, so almost three years ago, um, when they scrapped the first C651 train, they announced that they will be extending the order to uh, 40 more trains to replace both the second generation C651 trains and the Kawasaki and Nippon Shario uh, C751 B trains.
north, south, and east, west lines, meaning the ones that are getting replaced, the ones that I've been talking about for the entire time. Um, they're actually more common on the east-west line uh, these days. Next station, Newton. Change at the next station for the downtown and they line. Rarely make an appearance on the north south uh, line. Usually, if they do, it's because they have some uh, bigger maintenance to do in, in the north south line. Down. updated because um, the trains were going to retire soon so it would have been a waste of money to change out all of them Oh, and the set we were on is 207 and 208. Bye-bye. Yeah, they have a very nice motor. They'll definitely be missed by enthusiasts, those trains. Alright guys, this is uh, the end of my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and please Guys, let me know in the comments uh, what models, what bus or train models you'd like me to get on uh, and talk about so that I can keep going this uh, channel informatively. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.